Hi everyone, it's Graham here for, with another review for you. We've come to the Isle of Wight and uh, this is the, um, the Lakes um, caravan site. Uh, it's a static sort of caravan site type place uh, by Away Resorts and we're in a lakeside um, lodge I suppose you'd call it. Uh, so we're we'll going to have a look round. Uh, there's a parking space just there next to the lodge. Uh, there's a little um, patio there with some furniture. I'll show you that in a minute. And the lake's just over here. Not much of a view of a lake to be honest but uh, that's the lake. And uh, we're going to have a look inside. So when you come in the side door um, you come into the lounge. Um, there's a table, four chairs. There's a log burning fire, television, some DVDs down there as well. So it must be a DVD television. This is a lounge type area. Settee there, little chair and a kitchenette which has got a cooker with a four burner hob electric. Uh, what else have we got? That's under the sink. Dishwasher, that's good because uh, I don't want to be washing any dishes on holiday. What have we got here? A washing machine. That's the gas boiler. So it's got central heating. Uh, some wine glasses there and glasses. I'll be using the wine glasses definitely. Some mugs, kettle. Some more cupboard space there for your food, uh, dishes, plates. Uh, microwave oven by the looks of it. Toaster. Some cutlery there. utensils and pots and pans and just here we've got a fridge now it did say there's supposed to be milk in the fridge for you so there's a little leaflet saying there's milk in the fridge but uh, no milk so Pauline's just gone to sort that out at the reception so there's a fridge anyway and a freezer so that's the sort of kitchen area and lounge. There's a patio door over here where you can get out to the uh, to the patio itself. It looks like we've got some furniture there. So uh, we can go and have a look at that later on. It's a nice day actually. We're in we're here in September, so it's a lovely day for September. Lovely and warm. Uh, the patio doors at the front actually open right out uh, so you can have the whole thing open when it's uh, nice and sunny and hot like it is today so uh, yeah that's good the whole thing opens up like that. or you can have just a little door open at the side if you want um, the other thing is there's a fan up in the ceiling and you get a, you do get a controller to operate the fan. So from the kitchen yeah, we move down to the bedrooms and there are two bedrooms, I think it sleeps four. So there's two single beds there with a wardrobe by the looks of it. Little chest of drawers there, and ensuite with a shower, shower cubicle, and a toilet, sink, so that's the single bedroom, two single beds, and further down here, this is the door to the other 
that's the same toilet, sort of a Jack and Jill affair, so you can get through there or through the bedroom. And uh, then we've got another bedroom here, which is a double, it looks like a king size bed that. Again, chest of drawers. And another home suite with nice looking shower cubicle there. That's nice. Bit of artwork, as I say, double bed and a wardrobe. So, yeah, hopefully, the bed is nice and comfy. So, so that's first impressions, anyway. Um, I'll update later on when when we've stayed in it for a, a little while and we'll see what we think of it but up to now I'm fairly impressed apart from the fact that we didn't get this welcome pack that we're supposed to have which is supposed to have milk and other bits and bobs but uh, Pauline's sorted that now and uh, apparently they're going to bring it over so yeah so uh, yeah we'll update it in a short while the welcome pack did arrive eventually and uh, included the things that you see here uh, shortbread biscuits, sugar, tea, coffee, milk, a bottle of Prosecco and some uh, um, toiletries and washing up liquid. Right, well I thought I'd, uh, I, I did promise I'd give you an update as to what we thought. Uh, we've been here 10 days now and uh, yeah we, we've enjoyed our holiday. Uh, just a few down points uh, I thought I'd mention. On the brochure, it almost looks as if the lake is sort of lapping up to the balcony of the, of the, um, the lodge, which it isn't really. In fact, we haven't really got a lake view at all, as you can see. So that's the lake out there uh, behind the trees. So uh, if you look at the brochure, it looks like um, you can sort of sit on your balcony and look out over the lake. Um, some of the lodges might have that view, but ours didn't. Uh, this was number five. Yeah, number five. Uh, so uh, this hasn't... It's, it's not a bad lodge, though. It's right at the end, so you, you've only got one, per, one lodge at the side of you. Uh, what else didn't we like? Uh, there's no Wi-Fi. Uh, so you're relying on data. There is Wi-Fi up in the bar area, reception area. Uh, so there's Wi-Fi up there, but in, actually in the lodge there's no Wi-Fi, which these days it's nice to have a lot of Wi-Fi. Um, the bed was really, really comfortable. We enjoyed that. And the kitchen is, uh, is pretty good. It's got a dishwasher and a washer. Um, the only thing I would say is for a, if you've got a dishwasher, there was only one set of uh, um, bowls and plates for, for, per person. So we only had four plates, four dishes. Uh, etc. Four knives, four four spoons, four forks, etc. Uh, so if you've got a dishwasher, you need more than that really, because you fill in your dishwasher, and then you want to use other stuff. Um, so that's a little downside as well. Uh, it's really warm, nice and nice and warm. Uh, we're here in September, and it's been really really warm uh, inside the lodge, even if it's a little bit cool outside. In fact, too warm at times. So yeah, that's a good good thing. The other thing is the uh, settee, which was really uncomfortable. They could do with changing that really. It was really, really uncomfortable. Uh, not nice to sit at night and watch the television. Uh, the television was uh, just a, um, a box standard free view type of TV. So there's no Netflix or uh, um, iPlayer or anything like that, it's not connected to the internet, so uh, that's just a bog standard TV. But I would say we would probably come again, to be honest. Uh, it's been a nice holiday, we love the Isle of Wight anyway. Um, the site itself, it's got a swimming pool, uh, indoor and outdoor, which we didn't use, so I can't comment on that. It's got a restaurant, the prices were really, really uh, expensive, so we didn't bother with that either, we ate out elsewhere. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, um, we've really enjoyed it. We've had a nice time. So if you fancy uh, having a look at this, it's called the... Uh, it's an away resorts site and it's in... Uh, Rookley. Rookley. 
Pauline's my camera lady has just reminded me it's in Rookley and it's on the Isle of Wight and cool. it's called The Lakes. The Lakes, yeah, The Lakes Rookley. So yeah, uh, if you fancy that, look it up on the internet and uh, away resorts and uh, you'll have a good time I think, apart from little things. Okay, that's all for now. Cheers and we'll see you on the next video. Cheers for now.